Oh no, my fingers are going orange. Oh my god. my channel and today I'm going to do a new video and basically I'm going to be fake tanning for the first time and it's going to go very it's going to be very interesting I'm really excited to be honest because I've never fake tan before I mean I've used like gradual tanner like a gradual tanner lotion hold on let me get it so basically I've used like this the Garnier like gradual tanning lotion but it doesn't really do that much and you have to like apply it loads and it literally barely does anything so we're all bored in lockdown, especially me. So I decided that I was going to try fake tan for the first time. I mean, I thought if it goes horribly wrong, then it's the best time to do it because obviously we're in lockdown, so no one's gonna see it. And I thought I'd just try it out. So I went and put a little thing yesterday and I ordered fake tan and a tanning mitt from there. I ordered it from Pretty Little Things, so I have a delivery pass, so I just thought, I have the next day delivery on there, so I just thought I may as well order it off there. Oh, by the way, I look an absolute mess. Obviously, it's locked down, so I've not really been doing much of my hair. And then I've been outside today, playing on my air, on my air track. And yeah, this is what I look like, so I just ignore that. I didn't want to glam up for it because I'm going to go get in the shower anyway, so I can fit tan. Um, so the first thing, I mixed, and I think you can tell a lot. I mean, I'm not sure <laughs> because I'm pretty pale right now. So I'm usually really dark. So I thought, I'm bored. May as well try it out. I could do with the tan. So that's why I'm fake tanning. So I've got my pretty little thing package here. Um, it's not on the bag in the bag because my mum didn't want me to touch the bag. So I just like got the things out of the bag without touching the bag, and then she washed her hands or whatever because of obviously the bag's been passed around a lot of places and you know the situation right now. So I've got the stuff here. I haven't opened them properly yet. But I'm gonna open them now. Okay, so here is the fake tan. Mmm, the bottle smells really nice. I don't know if that's a tan or the bottle, but that smells really nice. I hope the one thing I really don't want to get is that like awful fake tan smell. When I've like sat next to people at school who've obviously like when they're fake tanned, and like I can smell the f you can like smell the fake tanned, and I really don't want that smell where you can s tell that someone's fake tanned just because the smell of fake tan. So I'm hoping this doesn't smell like this. I like researched and it's like 95% natural formula, so. I'm thinking it's probably going to be like a quite a natural smell if it's like a natural formula. And this is the Sunkist Self Tan Mousse Ultra Dark. I got it in Ultra Dark because obviously I'm already got like a dark skin tone, so I wanted it to show up. And yeah, this is what it looks like. For best results, use our exfoliate in mitt, then apply moisturizer to hands, elbows, knees, and feet. Apply tan liberally using our application mitt to arms, legs and body. Rinse off guide colour after six to eight hours for maximum colour. Oh I'm so nervous now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave this on overnight because it's like it's six twenty two right now. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna like leave it on overnight. I think that's okay. Cause I don't wanna stay up until like midnight because I've got a private the dance private of a video call tomorrow morning so I don't really want to stay up until midnight. Is that a bad idea? I don't know. I'm gonna have a. Oh, I don't know. I think it'll be alright. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I'm being really stupid. <laughs> anyway, then I got this tanning mitt because I didn't want to apply it with my hands, obviously. So this is from Velvet Tan, the original original tanning mitt, and I got it with a peach bum because I thought that was cute. <laughs> Do I? I don't know which side I apply it with. <laughs> So I'm just going to go for it, I mean, um, so I'm going to get in the shower right now and I'm going to like exfoliate because I'm, I think you're meant to exfoliate before you do it. So I'm going to get in the shower, exfoliate, shave my legs and I'll be back to a fake tan. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, tied my hair up, I'm wearing like a bikini top and like some shorts and I'm going to fake tan. But first I feel like I need to um, put like moisturiser or something. And like my elbows and knees and stuff, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I put um some moisturizer on, like I put it on my elbows and I put it on like where I've got eczema there because I didn't want it to stick to that, and then I put it on my knees and feet. So we're gonna get started. <laughs> Currently watching what am I watching? I'm watching YouTube, I don't even know who I'm watching on YouTube. So um, I feel like I need to give a shake. Oh I'm so nervous. 
I'm going to start off my legs because I feel like if I do my top half then it's going to crease. So I'm going to do my legs first. Oh, for God's sake, I'm so nervous. I might need to get my mum to do my back. If I got on it. <laughs> I know everyone in the comments is going to be like, you don't need to fit tan. But here I am. So I'm going to do my round first. I don't know how much I'm meant to put on. Oh, it smells really good. It's not that dark. I oh, maybe it is actually, I'm not sure. I don't know how dark it's meant to look. <gasps> I got it on the bottom of my foot. No. Oh no, I'm just touching my hands. Why am I doing this? Oh, it's gonna go really patchy on my bottom of my feet because I put it on there by accident now. It smells really good by the way, so I'm happy about that. Hopefully it stays like that. It's gone right through the tan in it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This is what my legs look like. You can't really tell the difference. I think you can like you can tell in real life, but I don't know if you can really tell on camera. It's gone through there because I touched it by accident with that and it's on my hand now, so I feel like I should get it off my hand. Oh no, my fingers are going orange. Oh my god. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to put some gloves on because my fingers have, I don't know if you can see that, but the tips of my fingers have gone orange. <laughs> so I'm going to put some gloves on and then put the um, thing on top. So I've done one leg now, this is what it's looking like. I'll be back once I've done the next leg. <laughs> I'm doing my arms now. Um, I'm not sure what, whether I'm doing it right. I really don't know. But I'm just like buffing it into my arms a lot. But I've got some really bad like eczema on my arms, so I'm just trying to make sure I get it in like so it's not. Probably shouldn't have put a bikini on because all like the strings are gonna get caught in the face hand now. Oh, oh no, it's just gone on the floor. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It actually smells amazing. I'm gonna fold this over because I feel like I'm gonna get it all over. Otherwise. So I'm doing my back for me now and I'm just gonna do my neck quickly and then I should be done. It feels like it's drying pretty quick to be fair. Tanned now. I'm gonna take my mitt off. And I'm basically gonna put some on my face. But I'm gonna use like a brush, like a makeup brush to put it on because I don't wanna put like too much on. So uh, I don't wanna like sit down because I don't wanna crease myself. <laughs> So I'm going to quickly go up at some on my face and I'll be back. Okay, um, so this is where I'm at. I'm definitely looking very tanned right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely looking very tanned right now. <laughs> I'm really scared to move. My face looks like this. It's definitely tanned. Um, I used to tan in it to tan my face, but I'm not sure. I think you meant to get like a face tanning mitt, but I didn't order one, so I just used a normal tanning mitt. I did try and use a brush, but it just wasn't really streaky, and I didn't want it to go streaky in my face when it like dried. So I used tanning mitt and I just scrubbed it all over my face. <laughs> this is what I'm looking like with the help of my mother. I'm currently at this point, and um. Like my trousers are rolled down by the way because I didn't want to get on there. Um, I didn't want to get tan on my belly. But I'm just really scared that it's like not dry yet and I don't know what to do. I don't know when it's going to be dry when it's not. My legs feel dry to be fair. Yeah like my legs feel so, like my arms feel a little bit tacky still. So I'm going to need it like another five minutes and I'll put my pyjamas on. But I'm going to put like some, uh, just a baggy t-shirt on I think. And yeah that's what I'm going to do. Also I forgot to say the tan smells amazing. Currently, I don't know if the smell will go away, but the tan, the smell actually smells really, really good. So I've had the tan on for like three hours now. It's currently twenty past nine, and I put it on at like seven o'clock or something, six, seven o'clock. So um, like so I've had it on for like two, three hours now. This is how much it's developed. I think it's meant to develop anyway. But I'm currently watching the GC. Oh, my camera's gonna die. It's flashing at me. I'm currently watching the GC D with Forever on in 
on my Instagram and watch it on ITV on my laptop because for some reason it won't work on my tablet. Oh, my teeth look so white. Alright, anyway, I'm going to go to sleep after that because I've got a early start in the morning. So, I'll see you in the morning when I watch, go to wash my tan off. And I've literally just stuck this, like, t-shirt on. Like, it's really baggy t-shirt on and that's all I've got on. And then, because I say I wear flowy clothes, but I don't know if it's a good idea to wear white. I mean, it's not all over there now. I was stood for, like, a good 20 minutes trying to let my tan dry. So, I'm hoping it's not going to go on my bed sheets. So I look a mess right now, clearly, because I've literally just woken up. But I am going to go get in the shower to wash up my tan. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is my face. Look, it's like, I don't know, I'm maybe orange. I can't really tell. I don't feel like it's patchy though. I don't think it's patchy. I don't know. And then, let me show you my legs. My legs look so dark, I think. I'm going to go wash it off now. I feel like I've got... I don't know how it's all red on that. I don't think that's a tan. I think that's just red. It's red. Anyway, I'm going to wash it off in the shower and then I'll be back after that. Okay, so I've, got in, I've been in the shower and I've got dressed. And this is what the hand's looking like. Oh, I don't know if you can... It just looks... You can't really tell on camera, to be honest, that I've got a tan. But it's def, I'm definitely tanned. Like, you can definitely see that. But, yeah. So, my opinions on the tan are... Um, I think the actual tan is really good. I mean, so far it's not gone patchy or anything. Like, nowhere's patchy. And it went on pretty well and it came off in the shower like it was supposed to and everything. So, tan, the tan was pretty good. Um, as to whether I'd do it again, obviously I've just tanned for the sake of this video. So, that's the reason why I've tanned. Um, but, as to whether I'd do it again, I'm not sure. Um... I don't, I don't, if I did it again, I don't think I'd do it on my face because I feel like my face is like breaking out, my skin's like breaking out now. Um, or it might break out. So I probably wouldn't do it on my face again. Maybe if I had like a dance condition, then I might put some on. But I feel like I wouldn't put it on every week or anything like that. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed doing this. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and press the post notification bell because I'll know every time I upload. Thanks for watching. Bye.